to define who is going to be the leading team in this group. And then we have one more game after this that is going to be Polisen against Vienna to define the um, second and third place of the group. So here we start and um, the uh, Riksu players are already on the basket of the US team and the close corner being kept away by the uh, attackers and uh, they're fighting for the ball uh, but the Finnish m successfully uh, got it back and are trying to return and, and build up the first wave of attack. Let's see uh, how they can do that. We have three white uh, players uh, next to the uh, goal and uh, they have to slow down a little bit the attack because the newer uh, attackers have really kept them away. Now we have the attacker fighting against two of the defenders uh, and uh, the newer player recovered the ball and is trying to pass it to his mate that is just at the, was at the bottom of the pool. Now they're fighting on the surface. And let's see who is in possession of the ball newer is in possession but burly i mean they're fighting now the finnish team just recovered in the corner is coming onto the goalie from above from the corner uh, it's too bad just pass it down on the open side it's still uh, every finnish player that get the ball gets tackled away by one of the newer players so they're doing a really great job now we have again one defender well that's a bit holding without the ball but um the uh, newer player just recovered they was trying to go away but the finish don't let them advance not nothing I mean they want to continue pressing to force a mistake to score so they can you know relax and be the leader of this they, they didn't lo lose against Molde I don't think they're going to lose <laughs> willing to work <laughs> to lose against newer so they are really pushing and uh, being in ball control right now. But the US is doing an amazing job on defending. So far, the question here is how long they can keep this. Um, and I think that, oh, that's really almost a goal and it's not going to be much longer now the ball is inside. And that was exactly the question. It was too much pressure for at least three minutes and now first score for Riksu. So the Finnish team is leading after three minutes of the first half. We continue with the game. And um, the new work team didn't even make it over the half but they're fighting in the middle and the Finnish team uh, recovered the ball pass it to, to one of the attacker went through pass it to the one positioned on the close corner try to pull up the goalie lose the ball in the process defense got the ball is attacked by three guys of Finland still trying to go to the surface to breathe some air and to keep the position of the ball and um, the Finnish guys are trying to recover. This is mm, really physical game. Uh, there's some um, call from the referee from outside, from above. Let's see. Okay. We have one of the Finnish players that stole the basket and it's waiting there for his mate is swimming away trying to it's a lot of chaos right there but uh, the newer people recover and it's assuming a counter attack one one against the goalier and something happened there uh, 
the player from the US was holding his mask in his face uh, after the Finnish uh, player recovered the ball. I didn't see if it was a, a stop the clock. Stop the clock. Something happened. I think that is a, 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 an injury. Let's see uh, if we can hear the the US player went up and uh, straight up after he tried to attack the Finnish player. Stop the clock, split the teams. Probably there was a kick. I couldn't see it because it was, he was coming over the close side and then suddenly we could see uh, the, the legs and the fins of the goalie and the newer play was just behind it. So that's what I'm assuming is probably a kick. And then he went straight up holding his mask, his face. And a minute later, I mean, the Finnish team was in a counter attack, but then they stopped the clock. And now we are trying to see if he got bad injured or just um, a little bit shaken. So let's see, teams uh, are being called to their half and they are making sure this player is safe in order to continue the game. Uh, I think he just won back. We start with the referee ball. And they will start with a referee ball, I think. Yeah, but we start. I didn't see it, but I saw so him go on, and then I took it just blast off. I saw him with problems. Swedish, I, and I, I don't I don't see who has the ball. <laughs> I see it from player was sick, and I start with a referee ball. No discussion. Referee ball. The Finnish are discussing because, of course, they were in attack. So for them, it should be a free throw for them because they were in a clear attack. But the referee, referee said, ball. I don't care. I didn't say it for me. It's a referee ball. I just stopped the clock because the player uh, was not doing well. So uh, here we go. They just uh, recover the Finnish team, recover the ball. We are on attack and we continue. But I, I think it's great that they really care for the safety of the players. And then if they were in doubt, they just stopped the game, make sure the player was able to continue playing and now we are in the game and the goalkeeper is being attacked from above the second goalkeeper is being pulled by the same player the Riksu guy just cover and something they're calling something holding without the ball and it's a free throw for the blue team that gives them hopefully a little bit of air because they are playing at the pace of the Riksu team and playing under the pace of the opponent is a killer uh, for a ball when you are defending constantly in the basket. It creates a lot of care, a lot of stress for the goalie, for the defender. And like this, if you are in possession of the ball, you should be able to maybe grab some air. But uh, of course, uh, Rixu players um, don't think so. <laughs> There were three on top of the one uh, newer player and now they recover the ball then coming with three with a counter attack the defender got the pass in the middle trying to pull up the players uh well that was a great catch from the uh, newer player and uh now the trying to, the captain is trying to swim away and trying to do a pass but the riksu uh player just intercepted got it back and now we're back on attack that's that's a hate when that happened I mean you are fighting you get the ball and then you cannot continue the counter attack and have to go back and defending and this is normally the moment when you get a score because the stress and the tension is so much and eventually you do a mistake so let's see but yeah and you are doing a great defense I'm very very uh, impressed that they're doing a very good job and the Riksu well, guys are determined to score as much as they can. Uh, one zero uh, is still not safe enough. Um, they have been the dominant team so far, but a counter attack could change that. So, and the, the new work are also fast. So let's see. They're trying to attack the, the goalie from the closer side, uh, but the defender got the ball. One white player is fighting against the new worker that um, got the ball and uh, the goalie is just getting into position and there it is the next attacker the goalie stole the, the, the ball because the, the Finnish guy had it a little bit open and now it's two Finnish guys on the blue uh, player from newer that had recovered the ball and I think he went they pushed him out of the play field so now they have a free throw 
for Finland, that's also so annoying when you get the ball and you get pushed outside and then there you lose it. So let's see, they're, they're doing a good job, very good uh, ta tactic, defense from Newark and the attack from uh, Finland is merciless. I mean, they come like a cannon, I mean, just, this is so physical, this is costing uh, both teams and I think more than you work all the air and all the strength of their bodies. So you are recover the ball for a bit and now it's the finish coming over the close corner again. Um, Tackle away by the New York. This is we're seeing continuously the attacker comes and you will um, you were player pull them aside and the next finish get the ball and is pull us aside by the next defender. So now we have two wide against the defender and the goalie, but the next goal is, is uh, replacing um, his mate, and they're all go into position. Uh, now that's complicated. It's three wide ones against the one goalie, and they save that goal. Wow, that's really amazing. Um, still, this. Uh, White Finnish player was lying and stole the basket and it was three against the goalkeeper and the goalkeeper managed to stop them from scoring. That was a great and amazing uh, performance from the goalie. And we have now the same and goal it is. Well, yes, uh, it was a matter of time, but uh, Newer is really performing amazing. Number really, really good. I mean, it's not been Nine, an yes. easy task for Riksu to score. So didn't hit, but he was also pushing him with like without the ball and not on touch. And here, hundred and fifty uh, spectators, and and of the first half, three minutes breaks now, and. Um, We have now they <laughs> have to change the sides and let's see what the referees are talking about. It doesn't look that the newer player um, had a very bad injury. Maybe he just got hit a uh, bit strong in the in the face and uh, but <coughs> apparently no cuts, nothing. So that's um, that's good. I mean, we want to finish the tournament with uh, less uh, possible injuries uh, rate. Now we have here uh, Felicitas that is doing this sports study and please don't forget to come by and to write down uh, all your injury history um, in underwater rugby and even if you did not have any injury that's exactly as valuable information as the people that got the injury because we're trying to establish a rate of um, yeah how many players do get injured and for that, we also need to know how many do not get injured. So please come, every participant of the Champions Cup, Felicitas has been also in Helsinki in the European Championship. She is willing to reach 200 um, um, formulas filled. So far, she has 140, I believe. So it would be great if she could get at least 60 more filled. And if it's more than that, of course, it would be great. We have. Um, 23 teams, so we have at least about 300 uh, players here um, during this weekend in Berlin. So it would be great if all of you guys and women come by. She has copies in German and in English. I'm alone here and complete that so we can have maybe the first study uh, related to injuries in underwater rugby. For that, we need the input of every one of us. Uh, I'm not sure if there's an online, um, I think there is one online um, uh, formula that we can complete. I'm going to find out that information. If there is, I'm going to put the link in the uh, Champions Cup website. So I, I would appreciate it, everyone uh, having access to that and can complete. And so that Felicita has as much information as possible. And so, 24 seconds left from the break. Riksu in white against Newark, uh, US in blue. 
Break two winning, 2-0, two, but it's not been easy for the Finnish team. The Finnish okay, team Finn won Rebe. yesterday, 1-0 against Molde. If they keep up this 2-0 score, they're going to be the leading team of the Group A with Molde being in second place, uh, third place, Newark and okay, Fidenza. Alright, so here we go. Second half and the Finnish got the ball and now they are trying to pass the middle of the pool but Newark is trying to stop, that's not happening. Um, they're in the surface fighting and there's... Uh, let's see, the Newark uh, recover the ball and trying to swim away from the half and the Finnish guys are determined not to let that happen so now they're grabbing and tackling away the player with the ball. And let's see, it's 2 0, and uh, Newer has put up an amazing defense uh, all this time. So let's see for how long they can continue to deliver this uh, defense, uh, or if they break, um, they have to have a very good condition. Now, coming over the close side, the finish game. Something happened. Um, let's see from above. Warning for attacking the head. Wide free throw. Wide free throw. Yeah. Free throw for wide, and there was a warning yeah. or against. Uh, one of the uh, new work players. Two meters. Couldn't hear. Two meters as distance you need to have away from the one that is uh, executing the free throw. Now, uh, Rick is coming the open. 39. And then swimming around, passing onto the close side. The defender is moving from left to right. And the Finnish guy is tackled away successfully. Still one Finnish guy underneath the goalie waiting for the ball, but that took too long. Now he's up. And you are is on position of the ball, trying to swim away, but they don't find a place to swim through. Um, the Finnish team is building a wall every time Newar wants to swim away. So now they're in the middle of the pool and the Finnish team recovered the ball and now they're coming onto the goalie of the newer team over the close corner three against one i don't think the defender realized the goalie was Goal not even into position number 13 one three number 13 from riksu or here we go with my finish number 13 is Tommy, oh, okay, that was easy. <laughs> Tommy scored the, the third goal of Rick Sue. Time, so time out. Time out. Time out. Well, maybe for the next, okay, the next break, then there's going to be probably a timeout. Let's see. The Finnish guy just recovered the ball. They pass it. They're trying to swim a counter attack. Now they are on the defender of the new work. Um, they almost lose the ball, they swim to the right, to the close side of the pool. They're waiting, they don't need... I mean, if uh, they're not pushed by the newer, they're not going to... Uh, I don't want to say take it easy, because they're not taking it easy, really, but um, they are now uh, right under the goalie, and so they're passing the ball at three against two of the U.S team and they successfully recovered the ball they're trying to swim a counter-attack but the Finnish player intercepted that pass and now the Finnish are coming slowly but surely and uh, we have the goalie and the defender into position they come over the close corner uh, pass it behind the defender to the player who was lying on the open side was trying to pull up the goalie and now it is this is the number eight number eight from the finish team this is Reio Reio no goal no goal pushing okay yes time out 
timeout, no goal. Blue timeout. Timeout for Blue. Blue timeout. No goal. No goal. This is they're Blue time out. for what? I don't see Blue timeout. I don't know if they was pulling or holding without ball. Three then it's zero. a blue free throw. Blue free throw. And, and then it's a blue free throw after that. But they didn't say why. Anyway, I mean, well, the Rick shouldn't need to worry. Um, it's still they have three goals. This is. Uh, they are the dominant team. They are constantly attacking. The new work is dependent. Excellent. I mean, they are really keeping up with the pressure of Finland, but they almost don't get to the basket of the Finnish team. So uh, we still have, I believe, five or six minutes to go, and uh, probably we will see one or two much more scores depending uh, if the new world team breaks okay, or not. Because ready. with this kind of pressure, sometimes on the last minute of a game can be very hard. Blue and free throw. You get all of the goals Blue. that you didn't get during Blue the game. Free throw. Blue free throw now for the US. Blue free throw. Remember, the next game is going to be the last one of the group to classify the, uh, the second and third place in the group B. And this is to the to see who is going to be the uh, leader of the group A, which in this case is going to be Rixu, or Rixu in the first place, and Molde in second place in the group. What happened? White free throw. Free throw for White, and we can see why. Now the Finnish attacker is forcing the goalie down already. That's. Um, the trick that the Scandinavian players do a lot. So, but the goalie was uh, attentive and cover on time. So now we have uh, the Finnish team trying to attack, coming over the close side, passing the ball underneath the defender, or there's at least trying, still fighting on the close side. And uh, they've been tackled away, but one of the new work that recovered the ball now is passing to the goalie. That's a very d dangerous pass because. Um, now the goal is still fighting for the ball. His partner is on the water, but he needs to breathe now and then dive quickly. Otherwise, uh, the, that goal is going to be empty very soon. There you go. Okay, great job from the goalie there. It took a little bit longer, but um, they have a good condition, apparently. We have an attack from the close side from the Finnish player. And it looks, for me, the defender was kicking. Let's see, he's uh, pointing out to someone. Two minutes were kicking. Two minutes were kicking. Two minutes. 30, blue player number 30, two minutes kicking. Yeah, exactly. The number 30 of the new world got two minutes out because of kicking. Two minutes kicking. Let's see, number 30 of the US. I don't know, the, the, the list of the US that I have here is not accurate because I don't have a number 30, so I cannot help you with the name. He got two minutes for kicking, it was clear even for me here in the camera. So two minutes out, uh, which is pretty much the rest of the team. So New World is going to be playing with five players, that's going to be hard. So I think to keep the pressure with five flesh players uh, very very difficult let's see we have a free throw now for the blue team two and a half minutes left and uh, counting and then um, we see that the newer team cannot get much farther than half of the pool. The Finnish team uh, just recover the ball. This guy have the feeling they have 12 people <laughs> on the water. Uh, but the newer are holding good. I mean, it would have been great if they could have fallen onto that ball because we are playing with five players. He has the time behind it. A, a, a pressure. It's really not an easy task, and now uh, the goalie is alone, and another goal that was for me almost clear, and because of the score, of 15, course, the, you player, can go. the player can return. Go, 
Right, Four player zero. number 15, one five. Number 15, from Greek 2, it was uh, Jim again, Jim Holmbeck. Time out. Time out. White time out. For white. White time out. Okay. White time out. Do, do they want to do white. another score? That doesn't make a difference, really. This is interesting for me that uh, one and a half minutes before the end of the game, they do a timeout. Maybe they are trying some strategic, uh, tactical um, game for the uh, games to come against the stronger team. That could be a possibility. But uh, new work, I mean, great, great job. Uh, it has been really uh, amazing to see uh, how well they have been defending. It's not easy uh, with that kind of pressure and, and attack that the Finnish team has been doing. Um, so good job and congratulations to the Finnish team that uh, has the first place on the Group A and had defeated Molde, which has been the year's favorite. I mean, they have been winning seven years in a row and okay. ten ready. times or so. so the last minute of the Champions uh, Cup uh, game between Eric Su and Newark. And the uh, blue team of Newark is uh, trying to get closer to the basket, but lost the ball. And now um, we have apparently free throw for Rixu. Let's see. 30 seconds. Remember, this is effective timing, so the time never stopped when we have free throws as such, or after the goal either. They threw the ball outside, or they, was they, they missed the pass? I don't know. Well, okay. Free throw for New York. The last 10 seconds, I don't think it's going to make much of a difference. So, in Two minutes. Two minutes. Get out. Two minutes for who? End of the game and a player got two minutes, but I don't know. Well, four zero for Riksu. Congratulations <laughs> to both teams for a great game. <laughs> he did uh, that on purpose. Really impressive yeah, that's on purpose, and therefore I gave him two minutes. But, yeah, yeah, but I mean, it was seconds yeah, left on yeah, it. Seconds left, I mean, give him two minutes, so you know. So, yeah, but never mind. But it was. I with zero one, you can discuss it, yeah, but I have. He threw the ball out. That's the ball. Let's see. Yeah. Let me. Okay. So let me see. Now we have Riksu. 